Hey guys, so today I'm finally getting around to doing a video that I have been planning on making for a very, very long time. I attempted once, didn't work out. So here we are with my lipstick collection. I keep all of my lipsticks in this little, what are these, vase, vase, no, no. It just looks like a candy jar to me, to be honest. And it's really pretty, it's hard to capture on film but it does reflect many different colors in the glass and it fits the lipsticks rather well so that's just where I've been storing these bad boys lately so first off I'm gonna start off with my collection of Kat Von D from Sephora lipsticks that's probably the biggest hunk of the same brand that I own I've been collecting those ones for quite a few years now so I guess I'll just dive right into which ones I have starting off with the first lipsticks that I ever bought from her. These ones are super duper old. It was her first launch, I believe, of lipsticks. So first off is Hellbent. And if you can see the tiny, tiny little nub that is left there, that is how much love I gave to this lipstick. It is one of my all-time favorite red deep colors that I ever purchased, and it still surprises me to this day how much I love this lipstick. Next up is... A go, go which is the bright neon matte orange and I actually like this one a lot better than the MAC version this one is so pigmented and so so very orange and the next one is called home girl it's a really really dark purple I've given this one quite a lot of love in the past while too it's barely there anymore one of the darkest purples that I own. Next up, I got this as a gift around Christmas time. There was like a little five mini Kat Von D lipsticks set that I got. This one is Celebutard. Not sure how to say that. It's just a skin tone colored one. I don't use this one very often because it's almost a, a little too light for me. It's a little wonky on me. Next is Adora. It is a bright, bright red with some shimmer in it. Almost makes it like a metallic red. And we have Whiskey Woman. It's like a darker nude. This is the one that I can actually get away with wearing every now and again. It's like almost dusty rose, I guess is what you would call that one. Darker than the pinky one. Then we have Vestuvuela, and this one's actually like my lips but better kind of color. I really enjoy this one. And then we do have Hellbent once again, just in a little mini that is this, this dark deep red there. Then I dabble a little bit in her liquid lipstick line, which she is coming out with some more crazy awesome colors for the liquid lipsticks, which makes me so happy because these two have been an absolute savior for me. First off, we have Outlaw, which is a super bright, bright red color. And they're just so pigmented when you first put them on just unbelievable and kind of shimmery shiny and then they dry down to the matte which is you know what I'm wearing right now is this next one it's called Vampira also one of my very very favorite colors out of anything she's ever done it's like a dark deep purple color so that one is the very end one and then I did make an entire video reviewing and swatching on the lips of these Studded Kiss ones, the newest collection of hers. If you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the down bar below. Um, I have Coven, which is, oh, such a crazy beautiful color. It's a lavender. So that's right down here. Very rich and pigmented. Next up, I have Poe, which is a very, very original color. 
It looks pretty dark from back here, but it is a dark navy blue with some blue glitter in it. Everybody always really wants to get their hands on this one, but it's kind of hard to find because of that exact reason. <laughs> so that's the obviously the only blue one on there. Then I grabbed the Slayer, which actually is black. It's just her matte black color. It's pretty pigmented, not the most pigmented black I've ever seen, but it does work for wonders. And last is Wonder Child, which is this bright, bright blue-based purple with glitter. And that's the very end one. These ones have now dried down to matte and do not transfer. So next I'm going to jump right into my MAC lipsticks. Those are the second most lipsticks that I own in a current brand. So I'll just show you those ones. I'll start off with the limited edition ones just to get those ones right out of the way. I have three of them. used to have four, but my Wonder Woman Russian Red went through the washer and the dryer was not good <laughs> but I have Deeply Adored which was from a Marilyn Monroe collection it's like a dark deep red and it is a matte finish so that one is right there it's just a like notch below a classic red, just a little bit deeper. And then I have two of the Rocky Horror Picture Show lipsticks that I got from my lovely boyfriend's mother. First off, we have Frankenfurter, which is also a matte. It is my favorite kind of lipstick ever. Ooh, that looks really nice up against the other one. So. That's right there. This one in itself is definitely more of a classic red, and then we got one shade darker, which is that Marilyn color. And then I also grabbed Sin, which is a much deeper, darker, dark, dark red. This one's almost got some, like, wine colors to it. So it's the one at the end there. And then I do have Heroin, which is a lusted over color for many, many people. It's a bright matte purple. Mine has kind of broken within a couple years of owning, so I try to just be careful with it. But it is one of the most gorgeous purple colors that I've ever, ever seen, and I understand why there's such a big want for it. Next up is a classic, just the matte Russian red, which is probably one of the best red lipsticks that MAC has ever made. Just at the end there. I had this one sent to me by a dear friend here on your YouTube, and it is Black Knight. It is their black lipstick. This one is probably... Well, it's certainly not the best black lipstick I've ever, ever, ever used. But it does the trick after a, a little bit of layering. And I do have this one. It was a limited edition shade, I believe. It's called Musky Amethyst. This one looks pretty nice, all glimmery and glossy. Next up, I'm going to go into my NYX lipsticks. I have quite a few of those after ordering from their little Macaroon Wicked thing. So I'll just give you guys a glimpse at those. I do have an entire video putting these on and kind of a first impressions of them. So if you want to check that out, I will also put that one in the down bar below. First up is Black Sesame, and this is one of my favorites ever, I do believe. It is just a matte gray color, and it's actually surprisingly flattering on me, which is crazy. So it's just that big old gray, light gray patch there. Next up, this one is so bloody confusing to me. <laughs> this one is Citron, and in the packaging, as you see it right here, Definitely looks orange. You'll be bloody surprised when you put it on your body. 
and it turns a bright yellow color. Like, I'm just, I just, I can't even deal with that. It's so weird. Love it though, because I was hoping it would be yellow. Next up, I have Trickery, which is a golden, yucky, gross olive color that I just love so, so much. So that's the one straight down there. Very shiny and off colored, but I love it. Next up I have Cold Hearted, which is a gunmetal gray color. Also very flattering on, which you wouldn't expect, but it looks really nice. So that's that one right there. Very shiny and gray. You can see the difference between the two. This one's definitely more olive, more gray. Next up is Betrayal. It is a darker purple with some shimmer in it. Almost like a, just like an eggplant purple, to be honest, right there at the bottom. And the last set of these collections is Key Lime, which is a bright, bright neon colored green. Very pigmented and a very good texture on this one in particular. Bright and green. And the last NYX lip product that I'm gonna show is this soft matte cream in Transylvania. It's a really, really dark color. These ones take a long time to set. So if you're more used to like the Kat Von D kind of liquid lipsticky deals, you're gonna have to take quite a few more minutes for this one to dry down into a matte, but it does happen eventually, I promise. So that's the darkest dark color there that you see. So Transylvania, which is a really dark purple. And the last little couple here in the bottom of my little tin thing are very miscellaneous. None of these things are quite like the other, that's for sure. So first off, I'll start off with the only Lime Crime lipstick that I own, and I only own this one because my lovely friend Sherry sent it my way because it didn't really work for her chemistry. She couldn't really make it apply the way she wanted to. So she sent it my way, and that is Serpentina. It is a emerald green color, and I just adore this one. It, it definitely works for me, and I just love it to no end. It's kind of a, it's a matte texture, and kind of shimmery. Hey, there's two greens right next to each other, that's crazy. But, yeah, definitely cool. Next up, I have a pretty zombie cosmetics color, also sent by Sherry, called Black Cat. It is apparently very, very, very close to the Lime Crime liquid lipsticks. This one is so, so, so pigmented. And these ones dry down super, super duper fast. So, right in the corner, you can see how matte of black that is. Well, right now it's shiny, but it will dry down to being completely black and smudge free. So how can you not love that? Next up, I have a pretty strange product and I actually don't remember exactly where it came from. I used to have a lot of my subscribers send me mail here and there. Had a couple like pen pally girls sending me different products from around the world, which was amazing. And I totally and hundred percent appreciate that. But now I can't remember where this came from. It's a uh, Morgana Cryptoria. It's a, it's a lipstick. It looks like a balm. And it's called Masquerade Ball. And it's definitely one of the most original colors I've ever seen. Really nice texture. But it's a blue. Like it's a, oh, it's like a, it's a navy-ish blue with like, and it shines so nice. It's metallic blue almost, wouldn't you say? Like, I just love this to bits. And then my one drugstore lipstick that I own, I got from my mama for Christmas. It's Espresso from Maybelline. Kind of smells really funky, like cheap lipstick. And I can put up with that. Like a dark red coffee beanie color right in the corner there. And I do have a one OCC lip tar that I grabbed from Sephora. I think it's called RX. It's the bright, bright blue one from their very first line that they ever really put out. And it is very blue. So it's the shiny one right up in the corner here. Very royal blue color. I've been dying to get my hands on Techno Pagan, which is like a, like a, just a royal, royal, royal blue color. But this is actually almost more of a baby blue when you look at it. So that's my one lip tart. 
aside from the clear one that I have, but I won't be swatching that, obviously. These two lipsticks also came from Sherry. I don't really know how to say the name of this one very well, but it's a bright lavender purple. Pretty color, but I imagine that the consistency is just a bit off. And then Colored Rain. I've never even heard of this brand, but she sent me this, this uh, swampy, gross looking green. Don't get me wrong, I love gross colors, so that's not like an insult or anything. Right there, just a really weird, weird green color down there. Haven't really give either of these a big shot yet. I don't know why, I just haven't reached for them yet. So that in itself is pretty much my lipstick collection. I've got a decent amount of swatches going on, so as you can tell, I'm a little bit addicted to lipstick. I never thought I would be. <laughs> Constantly made fun of my mother for having like 17 lipsticks in her bag at all times, which is not even an exaggeration. <laughs> so that is everything, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the collection. Um, if you have any recommendations of lipsticks that I should check out from what you've seen in the last little bit, then uh, let me know. As you can see, I really like odd lipstick colors, so, you know. Give me a shout, let me know what you think I would like, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.